In this video, we get in some really great downwind sailing 20 miles from Anagata to the east side of Yos Van Dyke. We caught a mooring in front of Foxy's Taboo and hiked to the Bubbly Pool. The swell was up pretty big, so it made for some really dangerous conditions at the Bubbly Pool. We started the morning on the south side of Anagata and the British Virgin Islands. Yeah, kind of a gray day out here today, but uh, not a bad one for sailing as long as the rain kind of stays off. But uh, cause we got a 12, 13 knots of breeze and it's a great angle for headed down south. So hold the thing you have and get moving. I like this swing arm type davit system. It makes it easy to pull up the dinghy. I started the engines and checked the exhaust and we were ready to go. A mooring ball over here, I can't see. I know, is there one over there? Okay. Once we cleared the tight channel at Anagata, we raised the sails. Our original plan was to head to Kane Garden Bay, but the swell was wrapping around, so we headed to Yost Van Dyke. It was a gray morning, but the wind was perfect for sailing. This is a 2022 Lagoon 42 that we picked up from Navigar Yachting in the British Virgin Islands. Our crew was Abby and Jamie, and they actually owned the boat. We were leading a flotilla full of our viewers and patrons throughout the British Virgin Islands. If you're interested in chartering with Navigar or joining us on our next flotilla July 13th through the 20th in Croatia, please click the links down in the description. Moving right along here, doing six and a half knots, not bad. Uh, we were just talking about it here. So this this rig has, uh, I think this, this boat is designed to have only a self-tacking jib uh, without a Genoa because just where the, the blocks are and everything, like I don't think there's room to put a Genoa on this. So if you don't know, like a, a jib goes back to the mast, that's your head sail, right? A jib goes back to the mast, but not past it, a Genoa goes past the mast. And so when you say you have 120% Genoa or 130% Genoa, it goes 20% or 30% past the mast. And so that's how that number comes up. The nice thing about a self-tacking rig is that it's self-tacking. You don't have to do any work. But the bad thing is, is that you can only do a jib on that. And it's not even 100% jib. It's more like a 90% jib because it doesn't go all the way back to the mast because of where the hardware needs to be. So in my opinion, the main performance you lose is on your downwind sailing because you need, you know, the big balloon balloon type sails, you know, to come out and you can't do that with a self tagging jib. It's not big enough and it won't go out far enough to the, to the, to the sides. But it's a trade-off, it's easy to use. And you can see there's just not any room to run uh, a Genoa track back past the mast because the cockpit's right here. The winds were light, but the swell was still pretty big. There was a huge storm up north pushing the waves down. So, I don't know where the swell is coming from because it's not windy. It's only 13 knots of wind, but there's some big swell being pushed down somewhere. Uh, hoping the anchorage is going to be okay. We'll see. I think we might be one of the first boats there, so we'll check it out. If it's not good, we're going to divert to Yost Van Dyke where it's more protected from a northern swell. Camera never does adjust as these swells are three to five foot on average, occasionally a little clearer. Lowered the sails as we pulled into Jos van Dyke on the east end. The east end of Jos van Dyke is a great place to stay as long as there's no southerly wind component. It's home of Foxy's Taboo, which is still rebuilding after the 2017 hurricane. Another little beach bar is called Beeline. We're still here like a scene. I watch and smile, get me down on my knees. 
made it to Yost Van Dyke East End and did a bit of an audible there and came over here instead because Cane Garden Bay is open to the swell that's really strong out there right now. So we're going to come here instead do that. We may just skip Cane Garden altogether. So we'll do the East End today. Go to Poxy's Taboo, the bubbly pool, maybe a little beeline over here later. And uh, y'all ready to go? Ready? <laughs> You'll like the bubbly pool. Y'all done it? Before? No. Oh, really? It's pretty cool. It may be too much because that's a lot of swell out there right now, but we'll see. Okay. All right. We left the boat and headed to the dinghy dock at Foxy's Taboo to hike into the bubbly pool. I don't know if we're going to be able to go into uh, the bubble bath because that swell is a lot right now. It was about a 15 minute scenic hike to the bubbly pool. I honestly thought the uh, waves would be uh, getting in here more, but whatever. So it is the bubbly pool. It fills up just like a jacuzzi. It is warm as a jacuzzi, though. No, it's not. That was great. If a big wave crashes into the bubbly pool, it can actually be quite dangerous. Never underestimate the power of the ocean. Several people have been severely hurt and killed at this location, so you have to be careful. Even on this day, there was one person that got pretty bloody. I mean, the, look at them, they're done. Yeah, they're, they're getting fucked up Holy out there. shit, that's a big oh, wave. Yeah. See, this is why it doesn't look fun. Look at them, they're not ready for it. So what did you think? Is it, uh, you don't want to get in the water a little too dangerous? No, it just doesn't look fun. <laughs> it, if it was maybe a little calmer, but. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely, I mean, I was worried about that. It was gonna be too much swell in here, and it is. And actually, I don't know, he's already gone now, but one guy is pretty bloody. Did Very you see bloody. it? Yeah. yeah, it looked horrible. Uh, Another day we'll hit the bubbly pool. If you like wrestling with the ocean, though, this is no, for the you. The ocean always wins. The ocean always wins. <laughs>
All right, nice little time there. Bubble bath, a little too uh, too much swell to get in there safely. Gonna go find the first place selling cold beer in the shade. And a real bubble bath. Yeah. Eight. Might be a little time for you to get a real. We loaded up in the binghy and headed across the bay over to Beeline. I'm busy trying to take it higher. Got no time for never. Only spending cheddar. Wish I could do this forever. Chilling with the hottest company. They all want to welcome me. I had never been there before and it was nothing fancy, but it was a nice spot to relax. Nobody dying at the bubbly pool. Yeah. Oh my god. That's what she said. <laughs> you beat me to it, god damn it. <laughs> He's turned on. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on bread. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt. Yeah, oh. I got today. Feels like it's been. I'm feeling right. I'm going right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? Uh, thanks. All right. We're going to stop by and pick up some other people uh, off another boat because some of the other people went other places. And we're going to Foxy's Taboo for dinner. You ready? Yeah, let's get in the taxi. Yeah. Get an Uber. We hopped in our island Uber, also known as the dinghy. We picked up a few of our fellow flotilla members and headed into Foxy's Taboo. A lot of our other flotilla members were already there dining. It doesn't look like much, but Foxy's Taboo actually has pretty good food. Party's on our boat tonight. What if I just fell back in the water, like walking backwards? Oh, okay. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, catch us on the next video. Check out the Sailing Noodles merch, sailingnoodles.com. I'll let you patrons that make this all possible. <laughs> good night. Have you checked out one of our other shows, Flying Doodles? Dakota and I just recorded our trip in a Cessna 172 for a $100 hamburger. And in our latest podcast, Amanda and I discuss what's better, RV life or boat life. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. They get early access to the video and access to the uncut version.